Hello, welcome back. Today I'm presenting you the new use that I've given to the uh, the last propagation neural network that that I presented. The neural network is applied to forecasting the weather with a really high accuracy. The source code is for free in the in the in a GitHub repository written in the description of the video. It has a really easy implementation. The program is not optimis optimized because it has a didactic purpose. The code is really clear and the names that I've used are very clarified. I've used the, the weather data from from a Brazil website. It releases the data for free and has no royalties, so it's per uh, perfect for this training. So let's start. The the main function that that I create is uh, the uh, the weather. That it's very easy. It it created it creates everything in the in the constructor of the of the class and has on only 100 lines the first line are for obtaining the the data from from a csv file then we create the neural net class and instantiate uh, with these predefined values, uh, the fir uh, we used four for four inputs neural uh, four inputs neurons for the input uh, the input layer. Only one layer for for the hidden for the hidden layers with four neurons, and this and the number of outputs is one. We set the training set uh, to the la to the variable that we've created before, and some some of of the characters of the neural network, like the the max epochs are 1,000. You can change it. The target error it's very low, so it it will always do all the epochs. The learning rate that I use is 0 0.25 it, it really works. I tried with 0 0.5 but it has no the same accuracy. The training type that uh, we use the, the back propagation method because the other ones are uh, are, are worse in, in fact. The activation function that, that I've used is the is, is is this we can change it to other type but the hypertangent linear and the step but I prefer this rather than the others. The activation function uh, for the output layer is the linear because we we, we want to predict the a value and then uh, then we we train the neural net and uh, this is all the, the all the code that that it's needed in fact the the rest of the code are uh, is for extracting the 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 information that that the neural network produce and and to make a chart we've made uh, we've made th uh, three charts the first one to get the the neural network error for for each epoch epoch the second chart for to out uh, to output the the training uh, the training data set 
in comparison from the real from the real data and the the third chart I've used the test I've compare uh, I've made a comparison with the test data that that is supposed to to uh, to give with the real to the real one and that's all if we execute the code we we notice that it takes a uh, only one or fewer seconds of fewer and the uh, this output uh, means that it has a 0 0.22 uh, euro and obviously it made a uh, 1000 epochs because the 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 error that the minimum error error that we we write is very low let's uh, look to the result that is written in a text uh, in a in a excel fi uh, file as I said the the three charts let's look to the M MSE here. the first values are, are really high 1.5 and but then the, the neural network learns learns quickly and reduce the error to to a really good one 0 0.22 as we seen in the in the output so now we are going to see the uh, the the chart the chart with an R script file that five create a uh, uh, before. The only thing that it does is read the CSV file, make some some changes to the file to in order to to make. Uh, to improve the the output of the of the of the chart. So let's look to the result. Now we're going to we're going to see the MSC error. It really clarifies what what how the neural network learns learns the first epochs learn a lot but then the the accuracy is lower and the slope decreases so have you seen the the neural network works very well and you can use it for many purposes in the next video we're gonna uh, see another another use of the of this neural network. See you in the next video. And bye.